This is, of course, a big one once you've been together for a while, losing intimate connection, either not making a priority or just not being on the same page at all. These are the top five reasons. Number one, obviously communication issues. Two, punishing or withholding happens a lot. And I find usually number two is attached to number one. Once you have communication issues for long enough, then you start punishing them or withholding sex because your communication is not going well and you're holding things in. And instead of just voicing them and reconciling the problem, you're using your withholding of love or sex to punish them. Really, it's punishing you both. Three, unprocessed trauma and lack of willingness to adjust or adapt your approach. Sometimes this is on the partner's side. Sometimes this is you unwilling to express your unprocessed trauma because you're afraid it's not going to be received well. And that means your partner might have to adapt their style to move with you through it. And you're afraid that they're not going to meet you there. If you're in a long-term relationship, you have to do number three. You have to. You can't just keep like, white knuckling your unprocessed trauma and you're like, I can do this for another 40 years every time we have sex. You can't do that, it's not reasonable. What you do need to do is trust that your partner is with you for a reason and you've gotta share what that is and how you might need to adapt it to grow through the trauma to get out the other side. Because if you're in it to win it long term, you've gotta get through number three. Has anyone had trouble with number three? I know that can be a doozy, okay? Um, we can definitely go through some ideas on how to course correct that on the sex talk. Um, for self-consciousness or a brain pattern that tricks you into pushing away sex, this can happen in a variety of different ways, and a brain pattern that pushes you to seek it in a way that's at odds with your partner's pattern. Maybe you want it at a certain time that your partner never wants it, or you know, vice versa. There might be some mismatch with how you guys both go after it. That's where it really helps to understand each other's brain pattern and try to actually shift out of that with some intention. Because sometimes if you just naturally leave each other to each other's pattern, is it ever going to sync up or are you just always going to repel each other? Symbiotic dysfunction, you're usually going to repel each other. So you've got to work on this. This doesn't happen again accidentally. And then, of course, the media influence on committed relationships, which I feel like we've hit this a million times. So I'll leave this one to you to dig into a little bit more. It's my hope that we can really start to choose this intentionally because everything is pushing us and programming us to disconnect from this and it's really not in our best interest. It is our biggest growth opportunity as a human to learn love, safety, to return to our childhood selves if we're able to do that work with a partner.